Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We have been really busy this week, and it's only Thursday. So at our meeting last night, we had a long one. We hadn't met for two weeks. So we had, we had lots of stuff on. Um, we had a bit of a New Year's Eve follow-up from the police chief and from our visitor services director, Kate Hamilton, who talked about the gala at the Nantucket Hotel. And it was very successful, lots of people, and it was all good um, from the police perspective as well. No big issues, no, no disturbances. Um, we also did our usual minutes, warrants, pending contracts. We had some gift acceptances. We accepted the surrender of the Bamboo Supper Club liquor license. What was going to happen there? I don't know. There's no license, so I guess we're waiting to see who's going to maybe take over that building or that business. Okay. 22 Federal Street, that is where the Mooney Building is, where the Finance Department used to be, is being was declared by the board surplus property we are going to be selling that property this was approved by town meeting several years ago so the idea is that this proceeds from the sale would go into a designated fund for future town office renovations new buildings whatever but not spent in the black hole so to speak when will it be Set on aside. the market soon Thank we you. have specific procurement people that laws. are dying to get that there are and i've heard had a couple of inquiries in fact i should make a note of note of that mooney there you inquiries. go yes thank you regina for reminding me yep so that's getting underway underway very shortly we had a, several public hearings one was for the adoption of fiscal 14 general fund budget recommendations the board basically voted to move the budget along to the finance committee and they will start discussing it next week we had an HDC appeal. HDC appeals, no offense to anybody, tend to be long and tedious. I will not. Do we have any idea what that sugar was about? That. Um, yes, it was about a roof walk skirt. Took me a while to figure out what a skirt is on a roof walk, oh. but it's basically this kind of covering yeah. around the bottom of it. Right. So. A lot of back and forth about whether or not it was architecturally appropriate, whether or not the decision was arbitrary and capricious, which is the standard under which the board makes a decision as to whether or not to overturn an HDC decision. So the bottom line was that the board voted to uphold the appeal, but to remand the matter back to the HTC uh, to I don't know what, something about architecturally appropriate design. So just to fix it, tweak it a little? Tweak it a little, I guess. A formal decision will be adopted by the board, at, but it has to be written up first with town council at next week's meeting. Is it an in-town skirt? It's on at 18 Lincoln Ave. Okay, so that's up. So hmm. one of the arguments was almost every other house in that immediate neighborhood has a skirted roof walk. But the HEC's argument was, nonetheless, it's not architecturally appropriate. I didn't totally follow the whole thing. Uh, I admit I was multitasking at that time. Sure. And I tried to pay attention to the end result, because I didn't really have a role. So anyway, then we moved on to two other public hearings for public assembly permits for the Nantucket Triathlon. The Nantucket Triathlon for 2013 is going to be held on July 20th from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. There will be road closures in the Madiket Cliff Road area that day, but as limited as possible. The following day, July 21st, which is Sunday, there's going to be another triathlon. It's called the 2013 Hero Triathlon, and it's related to disabled female veterans, I think is what Jamie said. Um, is and he putting both of them on? He's putting both of them on. Now, obviously, Jamie Ranny, my brother, is the organizer of this, so I'm not involved at all. None of the meetings, none of the nothing, um, to avoid any conflict appearance. In any case, they, the board had a lot of questions about the second one, and just in terms of logistics, and they ended up approving it. It wasn't unanimous, but they agreed to, to try it. So is, that's is there the next a reason why, they, why he wants to do it in July? 
when we, when well, I think, um, yeah, he fall. he had a bunch of reasons. Um, yeah. Number one, that's when most of the town resources are available, even though they're stretched. That that's when we have summer officers, lifeguards. In the early spring and or later in the fall, we don't have those. Anyway, All right. that was approved. Same time, 5 a.m. to noon, and there will be road closures. Sorry, 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's that event's a little bit an hour longer. Anyway, we'll have to just see how that goes. 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yes. Um, under the town manager's report, we had several items as well. We had fiscal year 13, that's the current fis budget year, quarterly reviews for enterprise fund budgets, solid waste, sewer, and island home. We also reviewed their 14 projected budgets. Then we had a discussion about proposed amendments to taxi regulations. There are several proposed amendments. The most controversial seems to be meters. Um, and I won't really go on and on about that, but it's something that's come up repeatedly over the years. The board seems to want to consider the installation of meters. We will have a public hearing on this and allow I'm sure there will be a lot of input on January 23rd. And if people want to see the proposed amendments, they will be posted online this week. We then talked about um, so some social media issues. We have prepared a social media policy and an update, updated computer use policy for employees. The board endorsed both of those. We had our new um, part-time IT person, Jason Bridges there, present to explain it. Jason's been instrumental in helping us get the social media policy underway and updating the computer use policy. Why, and, can I ask you a question? Yes. What, why do we need a policy for social media? Well, otherwise, there it's a bit of a free-for-all with departments going on Facebook or Twitter or whatever all the other social media things are. So if, if your department has a Facebook account, say, um, what are they need some guidelines as to what to respond to, what to post. You don't oh. want to post anything too overly controversial. You want to post town-related things. The idea is to get information out and engage people in, in discussions. Um, so it's, it's primarily serving as a guideline, and we want it to be con you know, a bit controlled. Um, I, I saw some chatter about... Uh, the town only wants to put things on there that they support. Well, may, maybe that's a, an impression that people have. Most people only want to put things on their websites or their blogs or whatever that they support or can defend in some way. Um, but we're looking for input in a lot of things. And if people have negative things to say, say it. It won't hurt our feelings. But it's kind of the way in which you say it. And I often go back to what my good friend Grace Grossman used to say, which was, we can, if we disagree, we don't have to be disagreeable. Very nice. Very well put. So I think we're just looking for, you know, mutual respect back and forth about people's positions on things. But nonetheless, we're um, looking for public input on w whatever. So we're going to get underway with some of these things. You know, it's, we're not going to rush out there and get Twitter accounts going and Facebook and stuff like that. We need to proceed cautiously, I think. And I think a lot of towns are, are proceeding like that. We also talked about streaming video. I am not 100% certain what streaming video is. Oh, but I can tell you, because okay. I stream. OK. So this show you, gets streamed around the world. OK, right now. It's right, live. Uh, not live, but once okay. it's on the channel, it streams from my channel to the internet. And then that can be seen anywhere in the world. Okay. So um, the selectmen's meetings, I think, are streamed, are streamed live. They're not live. They're an hour. They could, Well, the public access channel wants to stream them live, right? Yes. Well, yes. sure, they should. Okay. I think they are. I don't. But I, they're I, not live when they... How come they're not live, though? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I thought they were. They're maybe, not. Maybe they're not. Okay. So the point was, there's going to be streaming video of a lot more town board committee and commission meetings shortly. Okay. I guess. We were going to talk about a town manager web page that we are working on, but we weren't quite what we weren't quite ready for it. So we're going to do that later. Then the board had some discussion about the Washington Street municipal parking lot, specifically the town pier parking section. And basically, um, the town is required to have 60 spaces that are supposed to be dedicated to users of the town pier. 
there are more than 60 spaces in the lot, although we've really only designated, I, I, I think, about 26 or 30 for the town pier that are signed that way. So the discussion was about making some of the spots in the lot, not necessarily those, but other spots, two hour parking for periods of time in the evening for parking turnover purposes. There was no conclusion about this. We actually are going to have a public hearing on March 20th about this. And we'll have a little, we looked at a little map about some ideas. So more to follow on that. We talked about the town meeting warrant for 2013 and the warrant articles. The board will be adopting the warrant on January 23rd, so we need to get things moving on that. They also talked about a bi-weekly meeting schedule. This is something that's come up from time to time. And to make a long story short, the board agreed that they will wait until after the annual election when they have a full board, a five-member board, to talk about that more. We then had a very lengthy discussion with um, a couple of HDC members about HDC issues, I'm going to call this. Um, HDC jurisdiction, HDC scope, things like that. They had an organizational meeting back in December where town council was present and some of these issues came up and that discussion is basically continuing. They have another meeting on January 31st, which we'll get into this a little bit more. And I don't think, they didn't really have any total conclusion to this discussion, just ongoing. Um, they also agreed at the end of the meeting that we are going to file a demo permit application to demolish the 20 South Water Street building. That doesn't mean we are going to demolish it. It's simply to seek whether or not the HTC would approve the demolition, which would open up possibly other options for that site. And it's tied into some other matters like FEMA map changes. So that was what we did last night. That was a lengthy meeting. That was a four hour meeting. And we haven't had a four hour meeting in a while. Mm. But again, we hadn't met for two weeks. So next week, we don't have nearly as much on the agenda. We are hearing from our valet parking group that did valet parking last summer. They're going to give us a report of how things went. We have an appointment to the Coastal Management Plan Work Group. We have some Traffic Safety Committee recommendations. We have that HTC decision, finalization, and we have more talk about town meeting warrant articles. So far, that's all that's on the agenda for next week. We're also just continuing to work on the budget, town meeting warrant. We have union contract negotiations going on. Lots of things. I need to really focus on my desk here. Don't put the camera around nope, my desk. I've cleaned it a bit, Looks good. but needs some work. It doesn't look too terrible. And Greg and I are going off island today for Cape Cod Manager's monthly meeting. They're doing a new thing at Cape Cod Manager's. Recently, there's been a, this isn't the formal name of it, but it's kind of a, a governance committee, a governance steering committee of all the town managers from Cape Cod Islands are invited. And they'll be talking about regional issues. So that starts today. We're meeting over in Hyannis, and then we have our regular meeting following the noon meeting at 1. And we always talk about fun and exciting things like collective bargaining and town meeting and fun, fun town manager-like issues. Yeah. And um, I think that's about it for now. Anything? Okay. anything uh, did, I, did I miss anything? No, yeah, I don't think we've missed a, a beat here. Holidays are over. Yeah. Moving into the new year. Yeah. It's an exciting new year. Ahead of it's a different new year, that's for sure, for me and my family, I of know. course. Yes, of course. But we are moving ahead, and we thank the community. We have a letter in the paper today, I think, thanking oh, everybody for their support regarding nice. my dad. Yeah. And we really, there have been so many really sweet and nice comments about him, and it's been, it's been very, very supportive and helpful. So we appreciate everybody who's made those really nice comments. And he would really have been, I think, proud to, to hear them. So I am really paying attention to that whistle oh, now, the course. steamship whistle. Oh, and I think course. to myself, was that too long? Was it, well, I would never think it's too long. I always think that was way too short. And sometimes I think, oh, that was just right. <laughs> so I pay a lot. Like if, I'm, if I hear it and I'm talking to somebody, I stop them. And, we, and I say, we need to listen to this. So, um, think it, you can think of my dad when you hear the whistle. Um, Gino, it's too warm out. No, it I'm afraid. No. Well, okay, I like it, but 
it's causing all this, I, I, the theory is it's causing all this sickness. Everybody in our office has been sick. Well, except maybe Diane hasn't been, but now, knock on wood, now she's been sick? sick. I was sick all weekend and in bed Monday and Tuesday. Oh, my God. I know. Erica was um, just about the same thing. Poor Greg was here, and he, I think he pretended oh, he wasn't sick, okay. but now I think he is. And he's going to this meeting today? And he's going to this meeting today. He's going to get everybody sick over there. I know, but I've already, I, I, he can't get me sick, I don't think, because I'm in the middle of exactly. it. I'm coming off of it. I feel much better. I'm doped up a little bit. Not doped up. I am, um, I've taken some Afrin. That's doped up. I'm, I'm a big believer in Afrin. So, um, but I need to get more. Although you're not, you can get addicted to it, I think. So I need to, I need to come off of it. What is it, a decongest? It's a spray. Yeah, it's a decongestant oh, okay. spray. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, it just, it just clears you up. Wow. And it's, it's like magic. Is that right? But it says on the, I think it says you're not really supposed to use it more than like three days in a row. Jeez. I've been using it for two weeks. Oh my God. Not two weeks. I've been using it for a week. I need, I, need, I do need to come off of it. It's hard. Oh, yeah. I've actually run out, so I'm going to have to come off of it because I just won't go buy more. Oh, my God. You mm -hmm. really are getting addicted to it. I've been addicted to it for years. Only when I have a cold, though. Like, oh, I don't just take it just, to, just oh, when I don't have a cold. I see. All right. I haven't found anything better. Good. If there's something better out there, do let me know. Of course. Something that quickly works. I don't want sure. some lingering, you know, no, thing no. that might work. Right. Um, okay, so... Even even though it's not that great to have it be this warm out, it is kind of nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It is. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.